All right, welcome back everybody. We're in the painting studio, Believe Art Studio. We're gonna quickly we'll run over here to the resin room and show you what got, what I got going on over there. Go over here, look you see. Got all these guys just resin. You'll have to excuse the weird black line. It does it when I'm in this room because these lights are so bright. My goodness, they're just, can light up a city with them things. They got all these resin though. These are looking beautiful. Look at that. Oh my. Oh. All these nice resined up ones. Mm -mm -mm. Someone's been busy. Ooh. Give you a little further away shot. You see that? Ugh. Yeah. You know, fill, fill that fill that space right up. And I got a bunch over here waiting to be resined. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Got this one here. My son wanted me to make him that one. So I got to resin that one still for him. But we'll go back over here to the paint studio. Do, 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 do. Look at it. Got a fresh new space to put paintings. Time to paint. Got these ones over here I did the past couple days. Just sitting there drying. They'll be in the resin room here in about a week. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I had some people didn't like this dark one. Oh, man, I'm telling you. I like that dark one. I like it. I like it a lot. I got a bunch sitting there waiting. This is a little test blob I did earlier. It's one of my test blobs right there. I was just testing out some of the colors that I'm about to go through. And after I was done, I mean, I, I like this one. It's going to make a nice piece of jewelry, but I felt it needed another color, so I added another color. So we'll go over the colors right now. Not in... I, I won't say that this is going to be the specific order I lay things down, because I think... I'm gonna have to feel this one out a little bit. I'm gonna mix and match, put some here, put some there, flip and flop, you know me, I like to switch it up a little bit. So we'll have a look here. First one we got, some of that Master's Touch. This is Cobalt Turquoise, it's nice. Completely, where is it? Completely opaque there. Three star light fastness. So that's real opaque. We've got another opaque right here. We got the cobalt blue hue. And that's also a complete opaque color. Three star light light fastness. Then we got we got a bunch of our new beautiful this little piggies. Mm, oink oink. This one here is a sapphire. Oh zoom in special camera. That's in this cup here. All of them are the same consistency. I suppose we could use this one to show you here. Let's see if we can get this shadow out of our way. We want to get good lighting on this here. Yeah. So this is going to be the consistency of all of them. They're all the same. I use my pouring medium. And then I'll tell you what I had to do to some of them. But it all drizzles down. Stays on top for about a second. Dissipates back into the paint. Drip it down. About a second, second and a half maybe, dissipates back into the rest of the paint. That's the consistency of everything I'm working with here. Next color is going to be another brand new, this little piggy. This is some of that oomps, 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 That's that techno beating down. Oomps, oomps, oomps. That's right. Look at that color, man. Go back. Woo. That's going to that's gonna set this thing on fire. Woo. Then I had, this is the color I had to add to, to that lineup I did that test blob with because it just needs something to go wha-pow. So this is some of that fluorescent pink by Liquitex. And that's a flat out transparent color. I just feel it needs something to pop it off. So hopefully it works. Here's another new one. Whoa, boy do I like that one. Tail feather by this little piggy. Mm-hmm. I'm saying oink oink. And another one, brand new, this little oinky oink piggy, man, that's right, I'm like, I don't, most of you probably don't know who this is, but green jelly, man, I'm like, little pig, little pig, let me in, not by the hair of my chinny chin chin, CCC, Comet, nice, oh, that's beautiful, it's beautiful, that's magic in this cup, whoo, man, that's like outer space, so those are my colors, for my cell activators, 
like I say, a couple of my last videos, I'm using my Australian Floetrol because I have it. And I'm, I don't know, I'm still trying to mess with it. I'm going to do a video soon of my American Floetrol recipe versus that thing there. And I don't know, man, I'm pretty sure my American recipe, it stacks up. It stacks up real nice. This is a little bit of the titanium white. We got three parts Floetrol. The Australian style to one part of the Amsterdam titanium white. Not that you can see titanium anymore. Then the second one, I'm actually, this is a complete experiment. I'm going to use some of my unicorn turds. There it is. Let's resin, chameleon powder, the fuchsia. I'm going to try to use that unicorn turds up in here. I mean, it's so beautiful. I hope it works. I hope it does. Man, I hope it works. I just want that a little bit different of a color than the white. Just to make a little border of that fuchsia, hopefully, around them cells. So, hopefully that works. I'm going to push pause. I'm going to stick you in my caveman camera stand that I'm still having to work with. I saw a good one online, but this, this thing said it was $59. And as soon as I touched it, it went up to 500 something So, I don't know what's going on there. But I need one that's right overhead, you know. Going to get round top. So this is what I'm ghettoing until I get a good one. Someone knows a really good one, maybe you could stick it in the comments. Let me know a good one for cheap. I'm not going over no 60 bucks. That's tops. I ain't spending more than 60 bucks. If I gotta spend more than 60 bucks, I'll make one out of wood and screw it to this table. So you can just give me a few seconds. I'll put you on pause, and then you'll be down in the little zone. You know, looking at here. That's where you're gonna be here in a second. Give me a sec. All right, people, I'm back. Let's get to it. Got my tile pretty much centered here. Shouldn't go anywhere. Mm, looks good, looks good. I'll get my little bubble poking, bubble evicting skewer ready. <clears throat> Bubbles need to be evicted. That guy right there, he says bye-bye. Oh, oof, boy. The pillow... The pillow container feels a little light. I might have to take a pause here in a bit and fill that up. I think I'm only going to record one coaster, though. I'm going to probably go somewhere to eat. And then I'm going to probably record like five videos. I'm going to be going somewhere and I won't be able to paint for like a week and a half. So I'm going to record like five videos so I can upload them, you know, every... Every other day or something like that while I'm gone. And every three days, somewhere in there. It's going to be tough not painting for a week. Oh my. I won't know what to do with myself. I'll probably find myself at a Walmart buying paint. You want to bet? <laughs> Even if it's spray paint. I'll do a spray paint painting while I'm off on my adventure. All I need is a black and white. I'll take that spray paint. I'll do a black and white painting. Man, it'll be beautiful. I think I probably will too. You watch me. I'll post that. I know, I know this channel is mostly surrounded around my acrylic pour painting, but if I do a black and white spray painting while I'm off on a vacation adventure, man, I'll tell you what, I'll post it. Yep, that pillow paint's getting a little thin. I can see some, some debris. You get a little bit of debris hanging out if you're Pillow paint has been in there for a while. Get out of there. Go on, I'll get. I'm gonna spin, even that out. <clears throat> and like I was saying, I'm not 100% sure what pattern I'm gonna put these acrylics in. I'm just gonna test the water here. I think. Uh, I think the first one I'm gonna go ahead and go with that cobalt turquoise opaque down first. So just put a little bit of this bad boy here in the middle. Mm-hmm. No one does like some of that. I don't never worry about these little drips or nothing. They it's gonna get slid right off of here. This beautiful stuff is gonna push it out of there. And even if it becomes part of it, hey, that's beautiful. Got a little hole in my glove. 
And next, I guess we'll try, uh, let's see. Oh, something to super contrast up against there. We're going to put that, this little piggy techno. There it goes. I can hear the music right now. Someone better put on their glow-in-the-dark shirt. Here we go. Give me a little squiggle, squiggle. That's making a nice little cool green as it fades in there. Nice, nice. And we're going to go with that sapphire. Oh, that's beautiful. Oof. Yo, that this little piggy sapphire is nice. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Top of that, we're going to drop some of this Comet. See, we're just mixing it up right now. Oh, oh, Comet, hello. <laughs> hello. E can someone say hello? Hello, little Comet. Thanks for coming so close to Earth. <laughs> and then this one here is that tail feather. That's another beautiful color. Wow. Oof. Oh, I'm gonna squiggle, squiggle, man. Squiggle. Get some of them squigglies over here. Yep, yep. Mm -hmm. Definitely see some of them there. Uh, some of them bubbles from just mixing this stuff, boy. We'll have to evict somebody. Oh, look at that pink. Just go pow. And we're gonna, we're gonna drop the other opaque color just under my cell activator. After I find my torch here, and I hit these little bobbles, this torch, well, yeah. Yeah, I see the one that's going to have to get evicted. I see you. You ain't paid rent this month. Come on. Bye-bye. Go on, get. Good job. You too. Nice. Just tip these colors back toward the middle a little bit. Just like so. I see another one. Pesky little varmint. I'll Bill Murray, you right out here. Just like that old caddy shack. That's right. You send that gopher right down the hole. This gopher ain't gonna win, see? Let's see. We'll try the uh, cobalt blue just underneath our cell activator. Just a little bit like this here. Just to make some nice little borders around my cells. And then we're going to try this unicorn turd, some of this fuchsia, let's resin <laughs> chameleon powder. Spit it out, Frankie, spit it out. Just a little bit of dashy dash of that. Put the white on top. Just like so. <laughs> so the activator's a little thick, maybe. We'll find out. I have to thin that bad boy out. Let's have an experiment. Let's see what this uh, chameleon powder does as a cell light glitter. Let's go. Don't get. I must say, I'm impressed so far. That's nice. Yeah, that's very nice. I'm judging you. I'm judging you. I'll find out here in a second. Get in there. Get in there. I'm going to have to use my straw right there. <clears throat> we'll break up the skin right here. Try to get me... Give me some cells to pop through here. All you gotta do is just kind of break it up enough. You don't gotta really blow in there too far. You're just gonna break it up, and then them cells themselves are actually gonna come on through here. I need a little bit more here. You can see. It almost got through to the pillow. It actually might have <coughs> hit the pillow a little bit, but I don't mind that. That looks nice. Some nice stuff. Look at that. Picture them beautiful, man. Then by my own choice and my own opinion, I'm going to take some of this stuff that's lackluster to me, a little boring. I know you can just spin it off, and it is going to just spin off, but I like to blow it to help it get there. Just a little bit.
Some of y'all can feel that's not necessary, and that's fine. I'm good with that. We are all entitled to our own opinions. When I come into these little areas here that don't have cells, and I find a couple spots here to put my heart in there. Those of you who know me and have been my loyal subscribers from the get-go, you know I'm finding a place to put my heart in this painting. It's going to happen. Ain't no use fighting it. We'll put it in there. Yeah. That one was nice. I'll try to get one more right here. Because of where these cells are in this thing, I already know they're, they're not all going to spin the hearts out. They're, they're, they're not going to disappear. But I'm going to put one more right here. Look at that. These cells right here, they're fire. Those cells are fire. Nice. All right, everybody. Let's spin. I get my Captain America shield first. Put that in front of me. I'm just going to spin this slow. I don't want to lose too much of this. And my pillow isn't super thick, so we're doing good. Let's give her a slow one. I know it looks like a million miles an hour on the camera, but trust me, that's a slow spin right there. Just slow her down, slowly. You can see a couple bubbles have risen to the top, trying to make themselves known. I don't think so, Timmy. Go home. kids not to play on my grass do one more spin this way slow and that's gonna be that folks I'm, gonna, I'm impressed with that I'm gonna take a really good look here and see what I feel that that chameleon powder did for us and I mean I'm sure it's hard to see in the camera but it did what I wanted it to it surrounded some of these cells with that amazing unicorn turds, man. Amazing. There's a bunch of nice in this this bad boy. There's a bunch of nice. Oof. Man, I'm going to look at my corners here. Make sure I got paint on every one of them. I do see little tiny spots at the very bottoms of these corners. I'm not going to spin this one again because there isn't enough paint on it it isn't going to move anywhere and it's going to dry just like this i have faith <laughs> i have a lot of faith I mean, hence the believe uh, art studio and believe signature that's on everything i paint you got that right i believe this one's going to be beautiful and it's going to stay just like this this is nice Let's see if yep i got my heart right here a nice one too that's nice really beautiful man Boy, the colors in there are nice. The hot pink just took its niceness in little spots like this here, and it's beautiful, man. It's beautiful. Woo. Boy, I do declare. That's a keeper right there, Bobby. Mm -hmm. That's going on the drying table. Yes, you are, my friend. Use a beauty. Woo. Let's give you a little look-see. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to uh, put this on the drying table. Give a few seconds, folks. Need a couple, couple cups over here. This guy right here. I'm gonna take my glove off so I can get that camera out of the stand. Nah, I might as well take them both off. How about that? this camera out of the stand give it a nice flyby we'll take a look see yeah well, that was wasn't that a magical journey we're gonna take a look at it over here on the drying table get some close up close up flyby little lights here cast some crazy shadows that i don't really like i'll have to figure that out somehow i gotta get some cool little light on my camera somehow or on my phone i think the the actual flash would be too bright. Look at that. Whoo, boy, man. Oh, that's trippy. Oof, that is super trippy. 
on me, me t-shirt like that one that's going in my clothing line people that's right you see that heart you see it <laughs> get that beauty mm-hmm well i'm gonna let you guys go there i'm gonna probably take a break go get something to eat and then i'll go back to painting and i'm gonna record like five videos so i can spread them out while i'm on vacation we'll see you on the next one if you don't uh subscribe yet go on down there and let's Hit that subscribe button like Bruce Lee. Whoosh, take your nunchucks at it. And if you liked what you saw, even if you didn't, leave a comment. If you did like it, push that like. And thank you very much. See you on the next one.